Arnott's Biscuits would construct a large factory from 1904 to 1906 in Homebush, just south of North Strathfield Station. A siding for this factory would open on the 13th of August 1907, unlockable by a key from the North Strathfield signal box. A second siding and crossover would be constructed in 1911, able to handle 25 four-wheel wagons. Both sidings were extended by 77 metres at the Hornsby end on the 5th of March 1927. These sidings would have quite frequent traffic, being shunted twice a day. For these runs from the factory, Arnott's would just use regular louvered vans up until about 1962. This was because of a packaging change. Previously, the biscuits would be bulk packed in metal tins and sold in shelves by weight, meaning they were protected and waterproof. However, Arnott's began to pack their products in smaller quantities and in transparent packets, which were then packed into cardboard boxes. These boxes now needed to be kept dry, and this brought about the need for a weatherproof vehicle. The New South Wales Department of Railways would convert 55 of their CV covered vans into the ABV cars, standing for Arnott's Biscuit Van, between 1963 and 1966. Their interiors would be lined with masonite and external diagonal bracing would be applied to keep the wagon sturdy. Keep in mind these things were old old at this point and making a four wheel wagon in the 60s was completely unheard of, probably why these would become the last four wheel wagons to ever enter service in New South Wales. 50 were of the standard design, 2 were known as high roofed vans and 3 were 10 ton capacity vans with plywood bodies. The remaining numbers would be kept the same. Two more vans would be converted after the initial 55, one in 1967 and another in 1969. All would be painted into the standard New South Wales Government Railway's gunmetal grey livery. They would serve on every train to and from the North Strathfield sidings. In 1972, the Public Transport Commission was formed, also known as the PTC, and it was apparent that the ABVs were on borrowed time, especially for PTC standards. In 1974, the Arnott's trains would receive a shake-up, TRC refrigerated van 31320 was chosen for a prototype for further biscuit conversions, being stripped of ice chambers, meat hooks, drain floor and sealed roof hatches, with the interior being coated in masonite. It was recoded to ABC 31320 and painted in PTC blue with white lettering and a white PTC Mark I logo, however it quickly wetted to the typical freight wagon grime colour. Some of the ABVs were repainted into PTC all over blue in this year too. As converted, these vans were fitted with transition automatic coupler and buffers. The buffers were later removed. Most tongue and grooved sheaf wagons later had their sides covered in plywood as it began to deteriorate. In 1979, as part of the Railways of Australia RRA, recoding scheme, the ABC would be recoded as NBBA, but the ABVs would still say as they were. In 1980, the State Rail Authority would retain the wagons when the PDC went kaput. In 1981, a small number of vans were repainted into the SRA red livery. In 1983, the Arnott's trains would cease. The ABC and surviving ABVs would be hauled out on trip train T151 by a single 48 class around 4pm. The fleet would be moved to Canberra and would be stored circa 1987. While the NBBA would be condemned in July 1985, some ABVs would survive into preservation. ABV 9604 survives at the NSWRTM at Felmere. This one exists at the Yass Rail Museum. This other one is being restored at Glenray Mountain Railway. And 20368 is rotting away at Dorigo, privately owned by Keith Jones. ABV 13767 is preserved at Cowra Railway Museum, which is the only high roof wagon left. Cowra also has six, count them, six unidentified ABV wagons. L267, a converted ABV for departmental material trains between Everly and Cardiff, is preserved at the Richmond Vale Museum. The Arnott siding would be removed on the 12th of March 1993, and that was that. The factory still resides there with some of the tracks for the siding still existing, buried in the ballast and overgrowth. Oh, and I would be doing a disservice to the train spotter kind to ignore the Arnott's Biscuits sign on the Parramatta Road overbridge. Yep, still there. There are also some models of the ABV and ABCs. You can check them out on the New South Wales Goods Rolling Stock website. Speaking of, that website is basically where I got most of the information for this video as well as the fantastic book, Sydney's Forgotten Sightings by John Oakes. It is a bit of a pricey book, but trust me, it is worth every penny. It is genuinely amazing. Plus it's made by the ARHS2, which are a very cool organization. Anyways, uh, I'll see you next video in like six months or something. It'll be on Extrata, probably.
I don't know, I'm just waiting for stuff to release. What kind of stuff? Ooh, you'll have to find out. Ooh, okay, goodbye.